how does having this well-defined ICP help enable your strategy, right? And optimize that execution that we all want in your business. Well, I think, you know, for all the reasons that we've discussed so far, but really just to kind of highlight and reiterate. So when you have this well-defined ICP, you're really helping your potential customers and buyers understand why they should care, right? Why do they need your offering and why do they need your product or your service? You know, how is your product or offering going to help them be successful, help them achieve you know, their goals and help them overcome their challenges or, you know, solve again, some pain that they're feeling. And then you can be laser focused on that messaging and everything around that building, building that messaging to help your, your potential customers understand that. And again, you know, having a well-defined ICP, again, focus, 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 right? Helping you focus your resources, things that we don't have a lot of, right? Time, money, right? People, we just don't have enough resources. And so you need to focus your resources on the right programs, the right processes, the right activities, and all those right actions that are going to yield the best results, it's all about outcomes. You know, we talk a lot about process and all the things that need to happen in your end-to-end kind of revenue funnel. But at the end of the day, it's about outcomes. It's about results, right? And you want to improve and have the best likelihood of success from a revenue perspective. And with this downturn market, this is just so much more critical than ever before to be efficient, but even more importantly, to excuse me, to be more, more importantly, to be effective, right? So not only you want to be efficient, you've got to be effective. And so lastly, I think having that well-defined ICP ensures again, that you acquire the right customers, right? The ones that are going to realize value, they're going to benefit from your product and service. They're going to, you know, realize and achieve that return on investment faster, which means that they're likely to not only stay with you, but to grow with you right? Which is what we all want, especially in SaaS. We want net dollar retention, right? We want to retain and grow. So my key takeaway, and this is actually my quote, (laughs) um, you know, having a well-defined ICP to me is the launching point, right? For revenue growth, it's a launching point for retention, and it's that launching point for success. Now, if you're looking to, for some help with your ICP definition, you can tell I'm very passionate about it. I'm excited about it and I believe in it. So if you're free, feel free to reach out, book a free consultation and see if we can help you. This was great, Rosalind. Thank you so much. If there are questions from the audience, feel free to write them in the chat. We'll pick them up from there. Uh, you know, I particularly care about your session and your topic. It's... <laughs> It's surprising and baffling to me how of a poor job most companies, even later stage, mature organization do at their definition of ICP. Would you agree that that's mostly the case by and large? Yes, I do agree because I think oftentimes folks forget also that it's iterative, right? It's constantly, you should be constantly iterating on that ICP and improving it. And so sometimes yeah, it's, it's not a one and done. That like came from the founders or like based on like uh, some anecdotal like data <laughs> or like they did a survey on 100 people and now they have like 100,000 customers. It's like, and they don't know. Exactly. And they're not looking for it. So what's a, what's a good way of either like getting started or changing that? Yeah. Like, yeah, I think... Yeah, I think getting started is the idea is focus, right? And start small, right? Yes, you want to sell to everybody. And I think that's the that's the kind of the mindset that they're worried I might miss out on somebody sure. if I don't like, target them, right? Not really, right? Exactly, right? But it's not about trying to sell to everyone. It's about trying to figure out who you should be targeting doesn't mean that if somebody outside of your ICP comes around and wants to buy, of course, you're going to sell to them, right? If you can support them. But the idea is to focus in on, okay, who are those best customers and test, right? Like anything in in business, we're always A-B testing. We're always trying to figure out what's working and what's not. And then from there, as you acquire new customers, 
ask your customers, right? Look at the customers that you do have that are successful. And what are those, what are those characteristics of that client or that account yeah. that, you know, why do they buy from you? You know, what made them buy from you and why do they stay with you? And I yeah. always tell folks that, especially even if for companies that leave you, right, it's even more important or equally important, if not right. more important to understand why did they leave? Because it was it something that could have been done differently in your process, you know, your implementation or, you know, your services, or is it that they were never a good fit to begin with? And mm -hmm. so all of that information needs to feed back into top of funnel, right? Mm -hmm. And continue to iterate. So I think folks just, you know, I think there's a sense of they worry that, oh, I, you know, if I don't target everyone, then I might miss out on a sale, right? Um, yeah, I mean, being or, specific with regards to the ICP allows you to be specific with regards to the messaging. Yeah. Right? The, the clearer you have uh, like an ICP definition, the more you can be intentional and like personal and interesting and maybe, you know, memorable, with your ICP. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And 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 you have to, you're talking to that account, right? Yeah. You're messaging to them that and it needs to resonate. Like I, yeah. I tell you, like half the outreach I get has nothing to do with me. It's like well, are, why you know, are like this happening? <laughs> right. They they reach out and like, oh, we we see you're hiring. It's like, no, I'm not hiring. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and and there's all kinds of, yeah, I see a lot of I that. I've you. actually yeah, I've been at companies where they actually try to sell me what we sell. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. It's like yeah. it's crazy. which is like not super smart. So Megan <laughs> from the chat is saying uh, ensuring they become brand ambassador for you, not detractors, uh, is also valuable. Which absolutely agree on. Yeah, one hundred percent. Curious about your reaction on this one as well. I think another part of the problem here when it comes to ICP definition is that most people think about most operators think about ICP as kind of a static thing, one and done. Yeah. But the reality is that it's not that. Uh, it's uh, the current definition of ICP based on the currently available data mm -hmm. for the specific region that you're thinking about, right? Okay. And so, like, as you get more data, it might evolve. If you're thinking about different regions or different moments in time for the same region, it might be different. Yes. Do you agree yes. with that? Yeah, one hundred percent. And like anything else, it's iterative, right? It's right. you've you've got to put that learning back into the process, because right. otherwise, it it can quickly become stale, right? Like yeah. you said, who your ICP is today with the market shifting. I mean, think about three years ago when the pandemic hit, right? Now all of a yeah. sudden, you're targeting different accounts, right? Yeah. And you're trying to be more focused. And not only that, you're also targeting you know, personas within each account differently. Yeah, and it might be the market, it might be you, it might be your customers, it might be competitors, right? It might yeah. be that someone is like uh, coming to play in your own playground and now you have to react to that and cater to like slightly different type of customers with slightly different type of messaging That's as right. an action. Love it. Absolutely. Uh, Rosalind, thank you so very much. Uh, yeah, thanks and thank for having me.